Continuing coverage, authorities are still trying to determine what caused a boat to capsize on Lake Champlain Saturday morning. One person died, and now first responders are encouraging caution out on the water. Local 22's Courtney Kramer joins us live with more. Courtney. Well, good evening, Spencer. The Coast Guard said the number one thing you can do is be prepared before going out on the water. There are a number of things you can do to make it easier for the Guard to help you should you get into trouble. Before heading out on the water, there is a checklist. Life jacket, make sure your boat is in tip-top shape, and check the forecast. It doesn't matter how much experience you have, something can go wrong. The U.S. Coast Guard in Burlington is reminding boaters to be cautious. On Saturday, a 63-year-old Berlin man was killed after his boat capsized near Stave Island. Police are still investigating. The biggest thing we recommend is wear a life jacket. Don't just have them stowed somewhere on the boat. Either know where they are or be wearing them at all times. Lucas Weston is a petty officer with the Guard. He wants people to keep in mind that although it's June, the water temperature is still below 60 degrees, meaning people should dress for the water temperature, not the air temp, to avoid hypothermia. Weston also said people should make a plan before hitting the water. Make a float plan, which basically is something telling someone that you trust where you're going, how long you plan on being, where, uh, when you'll be back. There aren't any waves or even a current on Lake Champlain. The U.S. Coast Guard tells me it's often the wind that can make things dicey out there for boaters. Winds will pick up, we get a storm come through, uh, the water can, the leg can go from one to two foot seas to three to four and five foot seas pretty quickly. And if you're out and you get caught in the middle of that, you're, it's tough to get back and get home and get somewhere safe. If you do run into trouble on the lake, Call 911, um, make a broadcast over channel 16 for distress. Uh, if you have flares on board, anything like that. As long as you're prepared for it, you're going to have a much better chance for us to either help you or find you. Since October, the U.S. Coast Guard in Burlington has ran 39 search and rescue calls. Live in studio, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.